So I'm going to show you how I do my hair just on a regular day. I use these satin scrunchies because they're better for your hair and they don't pull out the hair. So I use plant made products. They're really good. They're by a lady called Amma and I basically found her on Instagram. She did an Instagram live and while she was on the Instagram live, I asked her what type of products would be best for my hair and she told me and I've been using it and it's been really good. So this one is called Drizzle. Drizzle. So this one is called Drizzle. So usually it's like lavender smell. I'm not a great fan of lavender smell, but I've kind of gotten used to it because it's so good for your hair, for making your hair grow. So I usually put that in around the edges because I was, my hair was thinning, but it's growing back now. And then I usually make sure I do the ends as well. And I usually brush it backwards. And then I use soil, just a little bit of it. It's kind of like a loose type thing. You don't need a lot, so just to put it in my hands, rub it together. Make sure it goes all the way to the ends, part the middle, I like that in the middle. And then the final thing is I use inches. Just a little droplet. So I just drop it into my hand, rub my hands together, and then just do a quick slick with the ends and in the middle, get a quick massage and then take my brush. I've got a bristle brush. You brush it upwards because this is just a quick, not really styling your hair but styling your hair to go out kind of style. I haven't figured out how to film myself in the mirror without showing that I'm filming in the mirror. So excuse the double elbows that you can see. All right, so then I just usually pull it through and then make a little bun. Fan it out a bit. My hair's kind of thin, so it actually looks, gives it more body in the style. And that's it, I'm ready to go. I'm now gonna wash my hair. So first of all, I'm gonna show you which products I use. So I use plant made products. So this one, first of all, is Rain, which is a shampoo bar. And then this is the conditioner, but before I use those two, I usually shampoo the product buildup out of my hair with this one. And then Plant Made has this scalp massager that I use on my scalp when I'm shampooing my hair. And yeah, let's get on with it. So I can't find a great camera angle so you can see me actually washing my hair. So what I'm going to do is shampoo it and then show you. Um, wet it first of all and then as I do each stage I'll show you. So my hair is now wet and I've got some of the shampoo. This one to take the product build up out. So this one. I actually bought this one in Jamaica, I don't know if I can get it again here in the UK, but we'll see. It smells really nice as well. This one is Rosemary and Lemongrass Shampoo. Okay, so make sure I get a good lager and then I take the Plant Made Scalp Massager massage my hair 
So if there's any product build up on my scalp, this will help take it out. So I usually shampoo twice, so I'm gonna go and rinse this out now. So when you're using the Rain shampoo bar, after you've used it a while, it gets into kind of little pieces, but that's not a problem because, I mean, I'll show you how it looks, but that's not a problem because what I do is just take one of those pieces because I've had this for quite a few, a few months, so it does last a long time, so I just take one of the pieces like this and apply it to wet hair and it will start to sud. I think my hair is not wet enough, let me wet it a bit. It just needed to be a bit wetter. As you can see, straight away, it starts to sud. I just make sure I get into all the nooks and crannies. My hair has improved so much since I've started using plant-made products. It took about four months to see the difference, but I'll insert a clip here so you can see how the sides in particular of my hair was really thin. So now that I've rinsed that out, I now get the Dew conditioning bar. So here's mine here and it's kind of a little bit weird if you haven't used it before but you just get the bar and slide it along your wet hair like that to make sure you get to all the ends and you keep going until it's gone right through your hair so I usually go like that then up at the back right to the nape of your neck behind your ears And I usually go like that on the end of my hair. Then I part it in sections to make sure it goes to my scalp as well. And really work it into my hair so that it's can the conditioner goes throughout the whole of my all of my hair. There you go. All right, so once that's done, I usually kind of massage it in a bit to make sure it's everywhere. And then again, just I like to concentrate on the front. Do the front again. one last time and then with my hair what I usually do is twist it around like this into like like that and then I put a shower cap on and leave it on for about at least an hour and then I will rinse it out there I know, I look beautiful in the shower cap, don't I? No. So I've just rinsed the conditioner out of my hair and my hair's quite thin, but it's starting to thicken since I've used the plant made products. So this is my natural hair when it is wet and it is growing but the volume it's still quite thin but it's getting there so thank you for watching all the way to the end i have many more videos coming up so stay tuned thank you for watching see you next time bye